Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today in this tutorial, we are going to see how to check whether the checkbox is checked or not. So we'll see here, let's say we have a checkbox example. Uh, this is a uh, permit required and, and urgent. This is uh, a shortest path RPA challenge website. And also we'll see about the uh, check whether the radio button is selected or not. So let's say we have this checkbox and and I have already designed this process. So let me run this. So what will happen? First it will check this checkbox is checked or not. If it is checked, it will show me the you know message box that it is checked. If it is not, it will uh, show that no it is false. It means it is not checked. And then if it is not checked, so you can write a you can take activity to check that. So you can see here this checkbox has been checked now. So basically this will uh, give us a boolean value that is true and false. So if it is checked it will give us true. If it is not checked it means unchecked it will give us false. And for this also for this radio button. So let me show you practically here. Let me take. So you know if you need to check that like that checkbox is checked or not we can take one get attribute activity so in the get attribute activity using this activity we can get the value of any attribute of this selected UI element so let's say I'm going to indicate on a screen and I'm going to see here this you know this checkbox so I want to you know get the value of this checkbox that this is checked or not so let's say if I'm going to take uh, from here I'm going to take as a checked uh, you know I have taken this checked you can see here if I if I'm going to the you know this HTML code so in this HTML code we have a three checkbox you can see input type equal to checkbox and name equal to this so if you have you know input type equal to checkbox and if we are writing here C H C K D checked so you know what will happen once I will run that so this checkbox will be checked the bike you can see the value equal to bike so let me run that you can see this is checked now and if I will copy the same and if I will put here also and I will run again so this is also checked and if I will remove that so that will be unchecked so this is the checked so th uh, as per the uh, HTML these are the also attributes type value this is checked so checked is also one type of value so it means checked equal to true right same here uh, if we are going to select from this drop down if we are selecting checked so it will give us a value that is true if it is checked if it is unchecked so it will give us a value false so let me uh, go to the result and if I create a variable to check that what is the value of this attribute of this selected UI element so I will just put here uh, attribute value now this is a string variable type now let me take one message box and attribute value so you know what will happen if I run that so you are thinking that once I will run that I will be getting a message box that is true or false right so that is not the answer we are getting exception it's showing the, it is showing here string converter cannot convert from system dot boolean so you know because this checked will give us a boolean value that can be true or false but we are storing this value in a string variable you can see this is the string variable so we cannot see that true or false value in the string so what we need to do I need to go to the variables here and click on this variable type and select boolean now now let me run this now we are getting true so uh, let's say we have a requirement and I need to check if this is checked then we need to uncheck this or if this is unchecked then we need, we need to check that so let's say using this checked and the, using this get attribute 
and with uh, with the use of this variable we can get the true or false right now let me take one if condition here and I need to see here that let's say we have attribute so if this is true we can also put here true or we can just leave it so it will give us a true or false so if it is true it will come here if, if it has false value it will go to this one so if it is true then what we need to do we need to uncheck that so how can we uncheck this checkbox so we can take a checkbox or check activity so this is the check activity we can take that or we can go here and it's a part of control now just indicate on that if it is checked then we need to uncheck that so again click on that now just go to the action part and uncheck that now let me take the same here and now if it is unchecked then we, ne we need to check so here we need to take as a unchecked and if this is checked uh, this is unchecked then we need to check that now let's run this here and you know that it will give us a value as a true so it means this is checked so now what will happen this is un this will uncheck this now if I run this again so it will give us a false value it will check if it is false then it will check this checkbox again right now the same way we can do for this radio button also what we can do let me just indicate on the screen and let me select this flatbed and flatbed if it is checked it will give us a true otherwise false now we are going to see here again click on this indicate on the screen so if this is checked that's okay otherwise we need to check that so I will just click on this radio button and that should be checked so you know what will happen first it will go and check that flat bad is checked or not so if it is not checked it will give us false so this is false so it will go to the false section it means el else and it will just check that it means that will select that radio button now let's see it is giving us false it means flat bad is false this is not checked now it will just check that flat part right by this way we can check if the checkbox or radio button is checked or not and this is the most important and mostly asked question in the interview so you can prepare for this the same way let's say we have a multiple here we can also do that we can select that we can check multiple also we can check uh, check for the multiple checkbox also so I hope you like this video if you have any question please let me know and if you really like this video then please press the like button and if you have not subscribed this channel then please subscribe and also thank you so much for your continuous support and thank you so much for you know that recently we crossed 10,000 subscribers Thank you guys.